Police Union in Popcro will uh, stage lunch hour protests today. Members working at uh, Correctional Services, Traffic and uh, Police Service Centers will be partaking. They're demanding an end to police killings and uh, changes to promotion policies, among other issues. The pickets will culminate into a march to the union buildings on Friday. All right, well, uh, Pop Cruise uh, Richard Mamabula joins us now via phone to explain their gripe. Uh, good morning to you, uh, Mr. Mamabulo. Morning to you, the listeners. All right, thanks very much for joining us. Just as a start, sir, talk to us, please, about your demands and why uh, you believe that this uh, one-day uh, picket will be effective uh, to get your message across. I do know that on Friday you will move to, to the union buildings, but why did you specifically choose to have a lunch hour strike for uh, today? Look, uh, we're actually having lunch hour pickets from today up until the, the 12th of, uh, of, 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 of July, which is next week's Thursday. Our match is taking place on the 13th of, uh, of July, mm. which will be next week Friday. Uh, so we'll be having nationwide uh, lunch hour pickets across the country from today up until then. Uh, these are mainly to highlight uh, the challenges that uh, uh, members within the correction, well, correctional services, the SAPS, and traffic are facing has been facing for quite a number of time. Yeah. We have obviously had uh, numerous engagements with the employer uh, and, uh, and there have not been changes as yet. Do you remember that uh, earlier during the year we had a bargaining and policy conference where we looked at all the agreements that we've been signing with government for the past uh, 10 to 15 years and uh, obviously what has come out of that has been a, a demonstration that uh, some of them have not been implemented and of course uh, these are normal challenges that member complain of, members complain about on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. You remember that we, within the correctional services as well, we've got a growing population yet uh, uh, they are cutting down on staff and uh, there's lack of uniforms it has become very dangerous both for inmates and uh, correctional officials. Mm -hmm. Yet uh, the prioritization of tendering system uh, continues to rise, you know. Yeah. Uh, SAP as well, uh, uh, the infrastructural integrity of our police stations is dilapidated. Uh, many police officers get killed on a regular basis. Uh, While at the head of it, there are bloated structures with a lot of managers, whereas crime is not even happening at the national level but happening on the ground. So our, our police stations have obviously also become incapacitated. Those are some of the. So we have obviously come up with solutions that we think the department could use to ensure that uh, these matters are addressed. Mr. Mamabula, there is another issue that I'd just like to uh, touch on and if you can please engage us further on it. Um, you've also raised concerns as pop crew about the, 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 the promotion policies. What, what is the problem there, if you can just explain to us? We have had many members who have been in one position who have not been promoted or who have not uh, gotten uh, uh, better ranks. Uh, you find uh, constables for who have served over 15 to 20 years uh, just stuck in one uh, every role. So there's no there's no form of encouragement for many, many of them, especially within uh, the, the SAPS and correctional services. Mm. Uh, these members, of course, uh, their lives have become redundant, similar salary for over such years, and we think that uh, it is quite important that people are promoted on a regular basis, even the salary increases, because the salary that would have been, uh, that would have been earning back then, uh, more or less remains the same once, uh, obviously, the cost of living keep rising. So those are some of the challenges that our members are facing currently. Yet again, within the, the, the DCS, there are those who are owed a lot of money uh, through the ODS, uh, those have not been paid out. We had an agreement again with the department. They had agreed that they would obviously have sorted them out by now. They had Nothing has been done. So there's been a lot of promises based on the agreements that we've had with uh, these different departments, yet nothing has been implemented. So, so members are obviously getting agitated by this. All right, let's talk more about uh, the march of the union buildings uh, for Fridays. Uh, we do understand you're planning quite a big march uh, heading there to the union buildings. And, of course, you are well within your rights to do so. But, of course, the public is concerned. Um, how will uh, the general population be affected? Of course, there is a particular concern about uh, the staff at the correctional services centres, who you've spoken quite uh, quite vocally about here uh, this morning, are there any contingency plans? What is it a total shutdown that you're planning, and uh, how much will we, as uh, the South African population, be affected, sir? 
look, uh, we would obviously show that uh, we, uh, the public is not necessarily affected. You remember that uh, there are all those uh, workers who are centre-based, who, who obviously do essential work, who, uh, those who obviously will be doing their work, they'll continue with their work. There'll be those who are not necessarily centre-based, those who will be joining us in the streets in Pretoria. And of course, I think uh, uh, what we can definitely say is that uh, everything will be as normal. There will not be, there will still be police visibility for those who are, of course, on duty. But a majority will be coming from all provinces. Uh, we've got uh, buses coming from all provinces, mm. which will bring, bring in members uh, uh, to, to, to Pretoria. Again, this year, similar situation will be happening. Uh, what I, I, I'd just like to repeat that uh, the match is taking place next week, says, uh, I mean, next Friday on the 13th, but we will definitely be having tickets, which will obviously raise awareness. And of course, we think it's important that the public understands what the challenges are. That is why we're having this uh, lunch hour tickets to obviously uh, highlight our challenges. Are you, are you uh, confident that your challenges will actually then uh, be addressed uh, after Friday? And then what's the plan uh, going forward, if not? We, we, we had decided that uh, if these issues are not addressed, which are issues that are widely known, I think we've been complaining about them for quite some time, if they are not addressed, we will obviously be meeting again to look into a way forward. And of course, we will obviously uh, look into taking some measures that would obviously ensure that uh, uh, the departments are forced to listen and to act on, on, our, uh, on our complaints. All right. Uh, Pop Chris spokesperson Richard Mamabula, thank you so very much sir, uh, for giving us your time here on uh, Afro Breakfast on Afro Worldview. And of course, as you would have heard him say there, that uh, they are staging a lunch hour protest today. And he did clarify for me that it is not just for today, but the entire week. And then it will culminate in a uh, march to the union buildings on Friday, which is a bigger march planned. Uh, and uh, those associated with the Pop Crew Union will then be coming from the different provinces um, to join those in uh, Gauteng province.